Stunning hate crime in America. A young boy full of optimism killed. So was his grandfather. So was another woman. And this is the man accused of a murderous rampage fueled by rage and bigotry, opening fire at two Jewish centers in Kansas at the holy time of Passover. And tonight we are learning more about him, his violent hatred, and his victims. ABC's Steve Osinsami is on the scene. Police say the man with the bullhorn and these volumes of videos from yesteryear is the face of hate. Today, Fraser Glenn Cross, who also goes by the last name Miller, is now 73 years old. And according to groups who've been tracking him all this time, he's a former grand dragon of the Ku Klux Klan and is a lifelong and raging anti-Semite. If you were going to make a top 10 list of the vilest anti-Semites in the United States, uh, Fraser Glenn Miller would be on it. Police say he came to this Jewish community center, this place of peace on Sunday, determined to kill Jews with a shotgun and at least one pistol. He's accused of shooting dead 14-year-old Reed Underwood, a promising young singer. Reed and his 69-year-old grandfather, Dr. William Corcoran, had just pulled into the Jewish community center for a singing contest going on inside. I hope he's singing in heaven with all the angels because he had the voice of an angel. <laughs> Mindy Corcoran rushed to the scene to find her son and father. As I pulled up, I saw that he was lying on the ground. And my first thought was that he'd had a heart attack. You know, he was just lying there. But very quickly, I realized that it wasn't that. And I knew that my dad was in heaven. That idiot absolutely knocked a family to its knees for no reason. My dad should be seeing patients today. You know, Reed, if they had school today, would have been in school today studying. Police say Cross drove a mile away to this Jewish assisted living facility where they say he shot and killed Terry Lamano in the parking lot. She was there visiting her mother, which she did every Sunday. He surrendered at a nearby grade school, screaming the Nazi salute. We have unquestionably determined through the work of local and, and federal law enforcement agencies that this was a hate crime. Here at the community center, families observe Passover tonight at sundown. Come tomorrow morning, state and federal officials plan to announce their charges in the killings. Diane? All right, Steve, and the accused gunman, by the way, is expected to be in court tomorrow.